Jiu-Jitsu is the source to me. It's the one thing that can really put you into this flow state almost immediately. You, you can't think of anything else while you're training. I really encourage people to embrace just getting in there and being part of the group and training as much as possible. I think it's important once you reach a certain level of jiu-jitsu, especially, you know, 15, 20 years plus, that it's almost required of you to share your knowledge with people, whether they want to get out there and compete or they just want to be a part of the jiu-jitsu family that we've created here. It doesn't take long when people start to train to see them literally change. I really thrive in that area of the flow moment where we slap hands and you're just applying the, the, the skills that you've learned and just checking your brain out and really focusing on what you've learned and there's just nothing that can enter your mind. anything you can spend a lot of time on a couple of techniques and that's what I really recommend people to do is just focus on a couple of techniques that you are comfortable with and just keep doing those it's an individual sport but you're still part of a team the empowerment of self-confidence through application is very powerful when I saw it I knew right away this is the martial art that has the answer for all of the things that I knew were big holes in the martial arts that I'd studied up until that time. My philosophy is the pursuit of efficiency in this art. I'm 47 years old now, and I know I won't be able to train with the intensity that I have on a day-to-day -day basis. But until then, you can find me on the mats.